Uh-oh, T.Y.'s got the little overlay still there. What's going on? What's going on, guys? I am super excited. Look, I even put on the uh, on the suit. I put on the suit for the premiere. I'm joined by writer-producer, Mr. Jack. Oh, Jack, looking fly, kid. Yeah. Looking fly, baby. How you doing? I've been wearing a suit all day and not just put this on three minutes ago because I saw Tyler doing it. <laughs> so I, these I call these my joe biden glasses because he wears these all the time yeah. i was wearing it before he was but you know well this is how we're gonna look on uh march 15th as well right oh yeah absolutely yeah when we uh when we attend so marcel hit me up right yeah marcel, marcel hit me up on uh on the email and he said hey guys i have another surprise for you mm. and he says can i get your uh your addresses phone numbers and your preference between uh, regular and vegetarian? I was like, uh -oh. oh, shoot. This dude's about to send us that mother box thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Marcel, if you're, if you're watching, man, you know, you've been nothing but good to us. Uh, yeah. I, can't, I can't say enough about that guy uh, inviting us to the March 15th premiere um, and, you know, going the extra mile. Um, with, with the, with the, is it Wonderland at home or one? What Wonderland at home? Is it is that what it's called? I have no idea. Uh, someone in the comments will know. What's up? Yeah. What's going on today? Look, we got Barcelona. We got Caden. We got Cameron. We got myself, Pop Culture Corner, baby. What's good? Uh, and then that one, Carlos, Anthony Strader. So uh, we'll get right into it, though. I do want to say one thing. So this is the shortest episode. So I, there was a reason... I, I tried when I was editing, I um, I had to uncondense it because the first episode came out originally was supposed to be prologue, chapter one, chapter two, uh, and it was too dense for StreamYard to handle um, with a video share. So oh, like okay. it was it was kind of laggy and 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 it just wasn't going to be a good experience. Um, so I decided against it. So we're going to do chapter prologue and chapter one tonight comes out to 15 minutes, not a long episode, the shortest amongst them all. Uh, it's definitely more or less an intro into yeah. the whole thing. Chapter, you know, this is really the lead up and what happens um, in, in the beginning of the story, right? Chapters, chapter three through five is really like it's, it's pedaled to the metal. That's um, where the drama is. Yeah. yeah. So, I've been working on chapter five uh, with Ray Porter um, and, and, and oh my God, he sounds amazing. He even threw a little dark side voice in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what? In yeah. some weird way, you know, last week we were saying, you know, if we had gotten Marcel when we were supposed to get him, you were mentioned that we might not have gotten the opportunity to do the premiere. Correct. Cause think about it. So we booked Marcel in December, right? Yeah. So had we had him on in December, mm -hmm. the premiere wasn't even in sight. 
yeah. right? If we had him on last Saturday, the invites didn't go out yet. Yeah. So if he didn't, if if he didn't have his family emergency last Saturday or whatever yeah. it was, we probably wouldn't have been in the op the the predicament we are in now. Yeah. So so fate really did take the wheel on this whole thing, and I think. Um, I think not that we don't deserve it, but we do, yeah. uh, you know, with this project, uh, by the way, there's a link in the description. Um, if you do want to donate to our GoFundMe for, for half of it, will go to Autumn Snyder's tribute fund. Half of it will go towards AFSP. Uh, yes. we'll do a live show and we'll all, I'll, I'll share my screen and we can hit submit on both of the donations together as a fandom and as a, uh, as a community. So I thought yeah. that would be kind of cool to do. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. And look, uh, we're grateful for Ray. Originally, he was supposed to do the whole thing. But, you know, as you and I kept working on it, we knew this was a much bigger story to tell. You know, we thought maybe I will do like half hour, 40 minute timeline. But we ended up making I mean, we put it all together. In total, well in total, it's probably two hours. Oh, so wow. Yeah. Full length movie. So. And and Ray's really busy. I hear he has a movie coming out soon, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he, but he was nice enough to do chapter five. And you know what? It works. It kind of works that, you know, we have Margie. She's wonderful. Uh, she's a local actress. You know, she's doing the voiceover. And then the chapter, you know, that matters. You guys know how this ends. Uh, yes. He's going to be doing it. It almost seems so, poetic. Yes. The chapter that matters is the one that I asked him to do. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I went to him and I said, Ray, listen, I know you're super busy. And I think, you know, it was... It was unfair of me to ask you to do the whole thing. So I was like, could you just do chapter five, the the big one? And he said, no problem. Like, I got yeah. you. We'll, we'll, let's do this. And uh, he said, thank you to me. He's like, really, though? I was looking at the whole script. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So the, the, there's one thing I do want to talk about. Um, so Zack Snyder's Justice League did leak today. Oh, really? Um, it did? That's confirmed. It did leak on... So before we get into the actual premiere of episode one, um, I just want to say this. Uh, I did put out a tweet and said, you know, and I, as I said, did we not anticipate this? Did we not, um, guys, dismiss it, report it, and move on with your life? It's, Do not watch it's, it. Don't watch it. It's nothing that it's not for you, and, and it's not for us. It's not for the fandom. You know, the the people that leaked it, they have. You know, I feel bad for them because. I do. I feel bad that they're trying to ruin such a good thing. So I'm not going to pay too much mind, um, too much mind on the leak after the premiere. It's only a 15 minute episode. So after that, we'll talk about the Wonder Woman. Um, oh the, yeah, the, the Wonder Woman yeah, teaser. Women's Day too. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. Um, there is one little problem. So I went back in today. And Jack was like, oh, uh, you didn't do something right. And I was like, oh, my God, you're so right. I didn't. I accidentally misspelled produced when I went back in two minutes ago and trying to get it re-downloaded from the video editing software. It would take me another hour. So it says produced, <laughs> written and produced by Jack Shaw. Um, that bro. is the only error in the whole thing. It's because I had to do it last minute. I'm sorry. Please don't call me out on it. Let's. Go in. All right. March 25th, 2016, a day millions of fans had waited a lifetime to see. 
Two of the biggest names in pop culture were about to face head-to-head in a cinematic matchup that would shatter box office records and mark a milestone in comic book history and film. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was going to be a springboard for the burgeoning DC Extended Universe. A promise for fans of DC Comics who had seen the Marvel Cinematic Universe dominate the zeitgeist for nearly a decade. A promise that would culminate with one director's vision for an epic superhero blockbuster. That director's vision would be met by mixed reviews, anger, resentment, radical studio changes, and untimely death. What started as a launch pad towards the Justice League would become an arduous five-year journey for one director and his fans. A journey that would unite millions across the divided globe as they chanted in unison, release the Snyder Cut. The promise that was once impossible became the promise that was now inevitable. This is the story of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Chapter 1, The Promise It had been one month since Zack Snyder's Man of Steel had launched the DC Extended Universe. His vision of a grounded Superman in a post-9-11 world was met with mixed critical reception. However, fans responded positively to the director's take on The Last Son of Krypton. <laughs> Warner Brothers had been impressed with Zack's record on comic book films. From the bloody Frank Miller adaption of 300, to the Cold War cautionary tale of The Watchmen, Zack Snyder, a child of a photographer and painter, had gone from a music video director to a bona fide blockbuster filmmaker. Now, Warner Brothers felt they had the right person to lead their cinematic universe by trusting Zack with two of the biggest names in pop culture history. DC was a good five years behind the Marvel Universe, whose biggest properties such as Spider-Man, X-Men, Fantastic Four and Daredevil were locked away by other studios. Despite this, Marvel Studios, now owned by Disney, had made characters like Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America household names. For Warner Brothers, this was inconsequential. They had Batman and Superman on screen for the first time in film history, and nothing could topple that combination. <laughs> Nearly a month later, on August 22nd, the world woke up to find that Oscar winner Ben Affleck would be Zack's Batman. The reaction was very mixed to Affleck's casting. As his previous superhero turn as the blind lawyer and vigilante Daredevil had been a source of derision and hate for both the fans and Affleck himself. This would be the first of several casting decisions that would be questioned as production of Batman v Superman went ahead. Two months later, Audiences would learn that actor Ezra Miller was cast Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash. That same month during an investor's call, Warner Brothers revealed its upcoming slate of DC films, including Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Shazam, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, and Green Lantern. What caught the attention of most fans was the announcement that Zack Snyder would direct two Justice League films back-to-back. In December of that same year, Israeli actress and model Gal Gadot was announced as Wonder Woman. Again, critics questioned the actress's ability and physicality for the roles, as her only claim to fame had been a recurring role in the Fast and Furious scene. I got you. Consequently, as cameras rolled, 
news would emerge in the spring of 2014 that Game of Thrones actor Jason Momoa was cast as the much-mocked DC hero Aquaman. Momoa's casting was well-received as his stage presence signified a change in tone from the blonde, short-haired hero to a darker and more serious character. With the final announcement of actor Ray Fisher as Cyborg, it was becoming clear that Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, was not just a sequel to Man of Steel, but a step towards a larger universe. In spite of the excitement for a shared universe, many questioned whether Warner Brothers was rushing their slate of films to catch up to Marvel. The MCU had seen five separate theatrical releases before their superhero team up 2012's The Avengers. What troubled most fans, however, was the casting decision of Jesse Eisenberg as the infamous Lex Luthor. Regardless, fans mostly kept faith in Zack's decision, as he had earned praise for casting Michael Shannon as Zod in Man of Steel, a decision even detractors of the film applauded. 2014 would reveal photos of all the actors in their counterpart roles, building excitement and hype as filming for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice wrapped in December of 2014. As 2015 rolled around, comic book fans looked forward to the Avengers sequel, Age of Ultron, reuniting all original Avengers and introducing new characters, Avengers Age of Ultron landed in theaters on May 1st of 2015, and the response was mostly positive. While the film did draw in a massive box office haul, it fell short of its 2012 predecessor. Critics felt the formula of the Marvel films beginning to emerge as a sequel did not match the energy or originality of the first film. Age of Ultron also felt like a step backwards in quality compared to the MCU's 2014 films Guardian of the Galaxy and Captain America the Winter Soldier. It seemed the mythical Marvel fatigue was beginning to appear. While no one doubted the success of Marvel films, it would be ironic that Marvel's most praised and celebrated production title in 2015 would be its Netflix-produced Daredevil, which showed a violent and gritty side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The apathetic reaction to Avengers Age of Ultron would grow as Warner and DC released a pair of trailers that would echo throughout the rest of 2015. Although a teaser for Batman v Superman Today. had been released in April... Oh, oh, oh. Opening with what appeared to be Superman on trial in front of the U.S. Congress. Audiences immediately learned that this film was going to be darker than his 2013 predecessor. The trailer dominated headlines and social media as the epic three-and-a-half-minute trailer quelled almost any criticisms that had been hurled at the film. Despite being eight months away from release, it seemed clear that DC was primed to take Marvel's coveted throne. Speculators predicted that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice could very well shatter any or all records held by Marvel. In August 2015, it was reported that an early cut of the film received a standing ovation from Warner Brothers executives. Most praise was geared towards Ben Affleck as Batman. Subsequently, a deal was struck for Affleck to star in at least three more films as the Caped Crusader. August would also see the first look at David Ayer's Suicide Squad, which interlaced a bleak world with colorful villains overlaced with a sullen rendition of I Started a Joke. If Marvel fatigue was setting in, excitement for DC was just beginning to boil. As 2015 came to a close, DC and Warner Brothers had made a promise to rock the world come 2016. Really? Really?
Finally! You can unmute yourself, Jack. So definitely like the... I liked it a lot of smile the whole time. Yeah, it's just, it's definitely more of the intro and like the beginning yeah. of the story. So it's hard to like yeah. put anything too exciting in there. But yeah. that's just the the um, the first chapter. Uh, the second chapter that I'm working on right now, well, that's already done. It's I'm just touching it up. The second one's where all like the talking heads come in. Yeah. Um, that's where all like, that's where you'll see like other YouTubers. You'll see fans, some some journalists maybe. Um, and, and the sec the chapter two is like, a, I wish I could have done it together. Yeah, yeah. It would have been, it would have been, it would have been a little bit more entertaining. Uh, yeah. I do like the beginning of it though. So mm -hmm. it, there's just a lot, it's a lot of graphics to go through. Yeah. But and, you know, uh, when we said we're going to do one and two together, um, as Tyler was saying, there's issues with live stream when you have something that long, but, um, chapter three, you know, one and two almost kind of are like, you know, leading into the drama and chapter three and four are the drama. Um, <clears throat> the drama is the best part, honestly. Drama is the best part. I, I can't wait for chapter three. Cause that I think three and four are really long. I think each one is like 15 minutes of just, just a narration. And yeah. then you add everything else into it. Um, uh, cause the way we were looking at this, like this, this itself is a narrative. Like if we had done this documentary a year ago, this would have been a very dour documentary, but it's the ending. That is the most important part. Um, nothing like this has happened in the film industry. And, you know, when we wrote this, the idea was it's for people who have no idea, you know, we got to give you the background, you know? Yeah. It's really you know, not for the Snyder cut community. It, it's yeah. dedicated to them, but it's more or less like for a general audience member who doesn't really know the whole story. Uh, and wants to kind of fill in the gaps on why this Justice League is separate from yeah. the Justice League that's coming out um, in about a week now. In about yeah, and chapter days. one is arguably probably the most positive chapter with the exception of the end, you know, because after this, you know, chapter two, as you'll see, gets into 2016. And that's why I put yeah. in, that's why I put in like the full three and a half minute trailer is mm. because I'm we're telling a story about what happened, I, I wanted to include the whole trailer so that yeah. you could see for yourself that, holy shit, that BVS was like really looked good. Yeah. Up until some point until yeah. you walked into the theater and saw it and you were like, wait a second, it, this did, doesn't fit what I, what I had seen. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Cha chapter. So chapter one is the intro. Um, chapter two and three and four are really the meat of the story. And then chapter yeah. five is where it's the, it's the, the flavor, the, yeah. the icing on the cake. So yeah. it's, it's uh, I'd say the vindication, the vindication. Yes. So <laughs> we are now that we got through that. Now we can get really into the, into the heart of the story. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the chapter. So what's episode two called? Uh, something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Yes. So something is rotten. Yes. Yeah. It's a, um, I'm trying to sound smarter than I am. That's from Hamlet. And uh, it has a lot to do with the power that Rotten Tomatoes became and yes. why Warner Brothers started doing all this silly stuff. And, you know, we put a little blame, not on us fans, but on the people who just went nuts yeah. when BVS came out with the negative reviews and the one star reviews and, you know, all that stuff. And they really scared the hell out of Warner Brothers, you know, and we're going to, you're going to see that in chapter two, you know. Um, in fact, you might even like, if you, you've never heard this story, you might be like, well, I guess Warner Brothers did the right thing. You know, if you're not familiar with the whole story, if you're like, right. you know, you might be like, oh, okay, well, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. The movie got bad reviews. And then, you know, we talk about Suicide Squad. And then, you know, we also get into Civil War and the impact that had, because you have to kind of not just tell the story, but other things were happening. That's why we talk about, um, Age of Ultron, just kind of having a you know, yeah, a moderate reception, and all of a yeah. sudden, a month after that, comes out this trailer, and people are like, "Whoa, okay, forget, yeah. forget Marvel. They don't, they, they're, this looks serious. This looks intense. This looks edgy. I want to see this, you know." Yeah, and I think uh, I think it's important to remember that, you know, we right at the end of chapter one, it says that, like, pretty much Warner Brothers was saying, like, we're gonna rock your world come yeah. 2016 and then i noticed that i didn't want to put jared leto's full length line yeah, in there because yeah. it looks really bad 
because yeah. he says it's really, really bad. So I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely mute him at the end of that. So it's just really, really. Yeah. And uh, But I, I, I really can't wait. Chapter two's my chapter two and five are my favorites. Yeah, um, okay. And they were my favorites to make. Chapter uh -huh. five I'm still doing, but yeah. chapter two has been my favorite to do. Uh, and chapter five is obviously like when you have Ray Porter narrating it, it's yeah. just like, it gives you that extra oomph. Yeah. Like, yeah, it would have been awesome to have him narrate the whole thing, but yeah. Um, like her voice matched with the talking heads of the people that I did get to do it. Mm -hmm. It just flows better. Yeah. Um, and, and it, and it, and it matches each other. Yeah. Um, Ray is very much, he's a closer. Like he, he comes yeah. in and clo and like ties it into a bow. Yeah. He hits the home run at the end, you know, yeah. if, the, yeah, if the first four chapters are getting guys on base, you know, he comes and hits the home run. Right. Um, so yeah, my personal favorite chapter to write be, was three and you'll people will see why. Cause um, we talk about the tragedy, but we give a little background. We don't just, you know, say, Oh, this thing happened. You know, we get into, you know, um, a little bit of story about Zach's family, which I kind of liked writing and researching, you know, yeah, um, I have a like lot of behind-the-scenes footage from, okay, but um, either Man of Batman v Superman mm -hmm. or other movies of Zach's that his family's been on. So there's less like pictures because mm -hmm. some Streamyard made some of the pictures look really blurry, but they're not. Yeah, they're not. Okay. Um, they're not there. I made sure that every picture was like very clear. I don't know why Streamyard made it out to be like this, like it was like grainy. But yeah. um, some of the Ray, well, the Ray Fisher pictures, they were taken that way. They're very like bad in quality. So those ones were the exception to the to the fact. But all the other ones weren't. Uh, chapters two through five, there there's less pictures, and it's more or less all video of okay. either right. Zach and his family, Zach yeah. on set, the actual films that we're talking about, um, Joss Whedon on set. So yeah. there, there, this one was. A lot of I took a lot of source from articles, um, re uh, reviews, yada 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 yada. So yeah. I took a lot of I took a lot of graphic pictures and lined them up. But that's not really how I want to tell the story. I'd like to tell it with actual footage. So that's yeah. why in chapters two through five, it's more or less it's like a video rather than that. Uh, yeah. it's, it's it's much I like more that idea. interesting. And, and you know, one of the, it's funny you mentioned the family and everything because like a lot of times I don't think we forget. But sometimes we tend to like maybe uh, we maybe say forget um, Deborah. Remember, she's a producer. She's just as involved in these movies as Zach is, and she also lost a daughter. You know, we 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 tend to maybe yeah. forget about that. Not we at pop culture, but just people in general tend to forget that this was a tragedy for her too and his seven other kids. You know, I didn't know yeah. he had that many kids. You know, yeah, yeah. The the picture I used, <laughs> the picture I used was his family of the AFSP donation yeah. link, and I'm like counting the kids. I'm like. Damn, Zach. Yeah. He like he, he adopted a lot of uh, adopted. Yeah, four of them were adopted. Four of them yeah. adopted. So, um, so I was thinking maybe you want to watch that Wonder Woman tease. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get it up real quick. Yeah, but maybe you could tell them a little bit about writing the story. Yeah. Um. So believe it or not, um, I, I think chapter three is the one where I actually kind of approached it. You'll see chapter three on Friday. Uh, again, that's going to be almost as long as chapters one and two combined. I think just in terms of the dialogue <clears throat> that's in there. Chapter three starts off interesting. You know, it, it, you're going to get the impression we're talking about Zach, but a person who has a very heavy influence um, going into chapter three yeah. will be Joss Whedon and why he was picked. We're not just like, oh, they picked Joss Whedon. We give you a little but bit of background on who Joss Whedon was, why they picked him, why at the time it made sense. And we go through all that. And, um, you know, as we were writing it, there's so much information that happens and, it, and the way we did it was we, we didn't just want to tell you the information. We want to give you context to it, you know? Yeah. So that did people you see, don't know. Did you see the dark side ad that aired last night in the yeah, middle of the night? I, we, Holy we, shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I was shook. At so, 3.45 in the morning, I was in my bedroom <laughs> doing some finishing touches. Yeah. I was shook. I was scared. Uh, we posted it um, on Facebook, and then I kept hearing that it was leaked, so we deleted it. And then yeah. Ray Porter said, "No, it wasn't leaked. It was put on Twitch." We're like, "Oh, great, you know, great." <laughs> right. But um, it yeah, was, that was it. Was like, yo, know, you get to see Dark Side in like his like. Um, so first off, he's sitting on the throne, like contemplating 
killing yeah. everybody and everything. Yeah. And then the next time we see him, it's like that hologram version. Yeah. It's, you know, and he looks just so good. Yeah, I'm he does. so excited. Yeah. According to Jody, he doesn't look like he's in good shape. That's a rock. Yeah. Jo fuck fuck, it, fuck off, Jody. I just have to get through this no, ad real quick. Sorry. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, so let's watch the Wonder Woman teaser. Um, right. Let's dissect it a little bit. Let me get my chair. Uh, and then we're not going to do a premiere for any of the other episodes. Yeah. Uh, that's just too much. But yeah. uh, we are going to, like, you know, I'll, I'll set it as an instant premiere on YouTube. That yeah. way, you know, we can all hang out and uh, talk about it. But yeah. – um, let's check out this Wonder Woman. So, so last night at three forty-five a.m., I guess this morning, uh, I used hashtag Wonder Woman in a in a post, and her emoji came up, her little anim animoticon or whatever they're yeah. called, and that was a dead giveaway to me that Wonder Woman was going to be today on International Women's Day. It only yeah. made sense um, that they did this. Ja uh, Dark Side definitely does need some lotion. Um, <laughs> definitely, he's got some ch chafy skin there. But uh, let's take a look at the Wonder Woman teaser that HBO Max dropped today. Oh, before we do this, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work because we're going to see the film on March 15th, um, thanks to HBO Max and Warner Media. Uh, shout out to them for for and you know helping us out on that. Um, so I'm not sure we're still going to do the March 18th event. So we're going to watch it all together. Uh, not like a watch party, but you know what I mean? Like we'll do the pre-show and we'll do the post-show, but we will pre-record a review yeah. um, and, and put that up and it will debut on March 18th as a separate thing. Um, we're, not, we're still going to go ahead with our event just because the plans have changed doesn't mean we've changed. Yeah. And then I'll be heading to Texas on M March 28th because on the 27th, we're doing an event. So on March 28th, I'm going to fly out to Texas uh, let me get let me get get on in this. So so March twenty eighth, I'll fly out to Texas in the morning, and uh, Jack and I will do a show. Uh, well, he'll be where he is now. Uh, unfortunately, he can't make the trip with me, uh, but that's okay. I'll I'll do the trip by myself, and I will will all we'll do a show basically from the museum. Uh, I won't do it in the museum. That's I pr I'll probably get like fuck smacked in the head or something. But uh, you do, know what? Let me, you want me to find out if we can? If you can find that out for me, yeah, yeah. let's find out. Yeah, yeah. I'll see if there I'm going to be there from the. Showcase. I'm going to. I'm going to do the 28th to the 30th. Okay. I'm going to leave the night of the 30th, so I'm going to okay. stay in Texas for two days by myself. What am I going to do, dude? It's, Texas is open. No masks. Nothing. I know. My it's cousin. Deal. My cousin's a marine. Oh, okay. Or he was, but once and always a Marine. You never yeah. stop being a Marine. Um, he's actually going to meet me there. And okay. we're going to stay at the hotel together and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so security will take my phone. Look. Okay. Um, but if we can talk to, um, let me find out where it is. We can, it's, I, it's I like show the AT&T district. I have all the information. Oh, AT. Oh, perfect. AT&T. Oh shit. Yeah. I should probably pull up my old AT&T bills and be like, I'm a paying customer. Well, or just be like, Hey, also, you know, we got invited to Zach's premiere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we're, you know, here's our contact at uh, Warner media. Just so you know, like, you know, don't, and they probably don't, have don't name, maybe don't, maybe don't like br not brag about it because that's not what we're doing, but just use it as a, uh, if they need a reference or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so a reporter's number, be like, Hey, talk to the dark yeah, exactly. side. Of yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, he was just kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so let's take a look at this. Baby, I can't wait. Wonder Woman looks... So there is one problem I have with this, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about that. Okay. In a All right. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Evil does not sleep. It waits. Something is coming. Back to the Dark Ages. The Dark One is army. Now the world is broken. This is the only way. I watched your island burn. Show him your family! Woo! Woo! They said the age of heroes would never come again. Don't engage alone. Look how fucking together. beastly he looks. Yeah, he looks terrifying. Now that 
That's those things that pop up. What the hell is that? You know those videos that pop up at the end? So whoever's channel that is. Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't know why HBO's not putting these up themselves. Um, oh, I like Flashback FM. I don't know how they get away with posting as much as they do. I mean, they probably don't care Even about any copyright it's things. Because you, you won't get a copyright strike for this. You've got a flag. And a flag just means it can't monetize the video. But if you don't monetize, then you have nothing to worry about. Like, for instance, if we get a flag for Chapter 1, I'll dispute it as educational. Fair use. Yeah. Don't engage alone. Don't engage alone. Look at his eyes, though. Yeah. Did you see his eyes? Mm -hmm. He said the age of heroes will never come again. Don't engage alone. Woo! We do this together. He looks yeah. sexy as a motherfucker. Oh, God, I'm so amped. You know what? We haven't done a street. Think about this. Think about this. This is how much of time I've been investing into this project, this uh, this other project. I we haven't done a stream about any of the the teasers except Batman. Yeah. And they took it down. Really? I love. <laughs> well, they oh took yeah, they took yeah. yeah ours, I was design. trying to show them. Um, they took our they took our video and they cut it. So without even asking me. Yeah, they just. So, um, would you want to watch the other ones? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Wait, um, you're sub you're updating, you're uploading the episode separately, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, can you imagine if they took that down? <laughs> Where's chapter no, one? No, no, no. But I, I will dispute that, like, yeah. because it's a documentary, it's educational. Yeah, it is, yeah. and it, and it's clearly under fair use. Yeah. Um. So let's do the Aquaman teaser, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yay, yay, yay! That's Flash. Why would they? Oh, uh, did they put them both together? I think they did. Maybe um, they were released separately, though. No, I'm saying, did the channel like put it together? Oh yeah, as, they as might as have. Well. I've seen a lot of people then putting like the full trailer afterwards. Yeah. All right, let's watch this bad boy. This one we clearly hear Volko, by the way. The yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll watch the dark side one. Don't worry. Oh, what the hell? Queen of blood. I need warriors. <laughs> Hold on, let me start that over. I didn't notice that we were, we were over it. You can't turn your back on the world forever. Above or below. Thousands of years since our people spoke. The first born of the Oh, what the fuck, man? Oh, man, really? <laughs> Hold on. The time has come. I have Take to report something to you guys. Hold on. Well, let's save the good stuff for, for when I'm not talking shit. All right, Jab, I'm pull you out for a minute. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this respectively, and let's do this efficiently. All right. This is a PSA to our, our fans and viewers, listeners, to the Snyder Cut community. We anticipated that Zack Snyder's Justice League would be leaked. We, we anticipated it, right? It was always going to happen. Someone maybe at the studio, someone maybe that works closely with HBO Max, who knows who it is, but let's unite again under the same umbrella that we united uh, for when we were pushing to get the film. Uh, let's unite again and do our job as Snyder and DCEU fans, dismiss all leaks, report all leaks, and move on with your life. We don't need this kind of negativity in our lives. We don't need these people who would like to ruin something that for most of us is more than just a movie. They're doing it because they're chasing clout and they want to get their name spread out, right? They want to be the one that leaked it because, oh, look at me, I have insider information or I have this, I have that. They're not doing it because they they care. They're doing it because they don't care about you, me, Jack, or anyone else that fought so hard to see March 18th. They don't care about all the blood, sweat, and tears that Zach and his family have poured through 
to get this made. They don't care about the community and they don't care about anyone except themselves. These people will get what's coming to them. Don't attack them. Maybe you could say, hey, I feel bad for you. I really do. I feel bad for you as a person. And I feel bad that that you need to, you think you need to do this, right? Um, so just dismiss it. Try to move on with your lives. We knew this was going to happen. Uh, and and the, when it starts happening, we can't crumble. We need to assemble and, and, and just move on with our lives and, and, um, you know, do your best to stay away from those kind of people. They're toxic. They'd like to say that the toxic fandom is in the Snyder Cut community. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I think the toxicity comes from outside. And, uh, and, uh, like I said, they'll get what's coming to them. So let's just try to remain positive and smile. This is our victory lap. Thank you for listening. All right. So let's go back. Let's start it over for the last time. You can't turn your back on the world forever. Above or below. Thousands of years since our people spoke. The firstborn and beloved queen of love. I need warriors. You can't escape. The time has come. Take up your mother's That's titles. clearly Volko. This is a bad idea. You're muted. Fighting the devil in his army. I no. muted you, sorry. So, okay. So the Aquaman, really not much not much going on, yeah. right? Not not many new shots, but that's okay. Um, I just think for Aquaman, so I was talking about this with um, ACS Universe, uh, Zebra Fett, and uh, Mad Matt Vids. I was talking about the Aquaman teaser with them. I just don't think that there was enough. Uh, there was, I think that the Aquaman character, for the most part, is going to be the same. I don't think they, they changed too much of Aquaman and Justice League because I think they liked what they saw and yeah. they knew that James Wan was going to utilize the character in kind of the same way that Zach yeah. was going to. The kind, so, of, the kind of dude bro frat kind of. Yeah, you know. yeah. And say what you want about that. Yeah. I like Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Um, yeah, I think I like he does too. a really good job. So uh, I, I just, I think that in this trailer and the teaser for Aquaman, what the things, I think all of these teasers, what we really need to focus on rather than the footage is actually the audio. Yeah. The audio is really critical because that's where you're going to get the most out of, which is odd for a trailer. Right. Yeah. So, but that's, you know, Zach's marketing is very obscure and it's very different than the norm. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Effects look kind of the Aquaman movie. Well, I think um, really different directors, different CGI, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, Barcy, I do agree. I, it was underwhelming, but yeah, I, I think it was, I, didn't. I think it was underwhelming because it was normal, right? Yeah. Like for any other movie, any other film, that would have been like a normal teaser. But because it's Zack Snyder's Justice League and like we think the world of it, um, that was a little underwhelming in that sense, but I mean, it's still a good teaser. They're doing a character teaser. I still, am, I'm so surprised that they did one for dark side. Yeah. Um, um I, I thought the flash one might be the best one. The flash one was hands down the best one. Uh, which, so we'll watch the flash one next and then we'll watch dark side and wrap it up. All right. Um, let me find it first. Yeah. Uh, so, folks, for those of you tuning in, um, if you missed it, we did chapter one of our um, – it's our first episode. We were going to put chapters one and two together because they sort of serve as the intro into what happened. So, basically, it's called The Road to the to Zack Snyder's Justice League. We just posted chapter one today. Chapter two will come out tomorrow and then uh, chapter three at the end of this week. And uh, we want you basically – to this will be something you want to share to people. We wanted to make a documentary that no one who has ever watched these movies could watch and say, okay, so this is what happened. Cause I'm sure many of you have run to this instant where you're trying to explain what Zack Snyder's justice league is. And people are like, Oh, it's a director's cut. It's a same movie, 20 minutes more, you know, and clearly yeah. it's not. Yeah. What's up Krypton cage. Um, so yeah, each episode will debut at the same time, uh, which is 7 PM. Uh, episode two will be tomorrow. 
Um, there's something rotten in the state of Delaware. Denmark. 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 <laughs> I wrote the title too. I mean, yeah. he wrote the title, but I wrote it literally on the editing screen. Um, <clears throat> but by the way, episodes two, three, four, and five are all scored by Ill Life. Um, oh. And he's taking over the music and he's all scoring right. it with my direction. Um, so the episodes, like I had that little minimal documentary music in there. Cause yeah. I just, for, for certain parts, I wanted there yeah. to not be like, just audio. Yeah. But I'm um, having him score it in the sense I say score because he's doing the music for it. Yeah. But it's at certain points when I ask him, all right, can you put some music here, here, here? Yeah. And he's doing the intro for it. So shout out to oh. life uh, for coming through on Philly that. Philly native. Yeah. Philly native. Um, all right. So let's watch the flash. All right. I want you to listen to me, Perry, because I mean this. I'm putting together. I love this car crash thing right here. Yeah, look at, look at the shoes. Wait, that was beautiful. Look at the shoes. I'm watching you run in place. I have to run faster than you've ever attempted. I have so much to talk about in this trailer. You're brilliant, man. Oh, he runs Absolute off. Best yeah. Of the best. That's like when Jackson's a woman. Ooh. He runs. Make your own future. Your own future. Make your own past. Make your own past. By the way, he was talking about our YouTuber, uh, Jackson right. Pierre. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> he shouldn't have said that about our customers. All right, let's watch that one more time. Like Actually, let's so watch it nine more times. I don't know. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pause it at certain parts here. Ready? All right. All right, so Batman, this is a... A shot we've clearly seen in the in the yeah. past. We've we saw this shot in 2016. Yeah. Uh, this is nothing Very new to us. Caesar, yeah. Nothing new, but but listen, they needed it. Back catches it. Would have died if it wasn't the Flash. Yeah. I want you to listen to me, Barry. So I think that so people had complaints with people have a lot of complaints with the blue lightning. Yeah. Um. Uh. We all know Zack Snyder. We know that he has a reason behind every single goddamn thing he does that my man's shoes disintegrated when he turned that was so cool i thought that was wonderful i, I thought it was gonna look goofy if he runs off and his shoes fly off i like that like just the, the the amount of force he's moving disintegrated like almost like a bomb you know descend it reminded me of napalm just disintegrated those that's a beautiful shot yeah, and listen, so, and like I said, we all know Zach has a reasoning behind everything that he does, yeah, right? Yeah. Literally everything. The blue lightning, I'm going to assume that Barry has not reached his full capabilities yet. And, yeah. and the Speed Force has different color lightnings for Reverse Flash, who's at a different level than Barry. Yeah. Um, um, well, you know, Savitar has a different lightning. Uh, yeah. You name it. They all, most speedsters, Wally West, uh, they all have different color lightnings at, at sometimes. So I'm assuming that Zach uh, is is utilizing the lightning as like kind of like a, a badge, right? Not a badge, but you know what I mean. It's like, like a sign, a, an insignia, an insignia on where he is in his in his yeah. capabilities amongst um, the Speed Force. Yeah. So I don't think, and and he could potentially be at um, CW Flash, uh, the jitters that they use. Just kidding. Yeah. Let's. I hope not. We are the Flash. No, you're not the Flash, Iris. You're not the fuck Flash. All right. Then we see Jack Sharaf um, crashing. All right. So <laughs> look at these shoes, by the way. The Flash branded shoes just absolutely. So Zach had said that he used logic for the Speedster um, conundrum. The Speedster conundrum is kind of like the Incredible Hulk conundrum. Yeah. Why? do the shorts not rip off Incredible Hulk completely? Uh, Zach thought about this and said, all right, well, if the friction from him moving so quickly, yeah. when he starts to turn and run, his shoes literally disintegrate here. Yeah. They're literally, they're disintegrating. Yeah. This is, and then, and then the next shot that we see where Barry's like kind of, sl he slows himself down. You see to grab the, Iris because yeah. Zach said that um, in this world, in Zach's DC, a speedster cannot 
uh, grab someone and run with them because he'll snap their necks. Yeah. This is something that we've argued with for so long, right? Quicksilver X, uh, X Men. Whiplash. Yeah. Remember that? And the, <laughs> the, the, the Quicksilver and the X Men. If yeah. he was moving those people out of that building, out of the, the mansion like that, yeah. their yeah. necks would be <laughs> and, they, and, and fall, they would have fell apart. Yeah. But um, Zach thought about all these things. Yeah. But that, uh, I'm close to that. I can't sit here. I'm Look at him slowing himself him, down please. so he can kind of gently. He really doesn't even touch her. He's like kind of easing with her. Cars don't blow up like that, I don't think. Then Jack, like he did. Absolute I mean, uh, best, Ezra. Fuck. Sorry. Yeah. Hold on. Let's, let's, I actually did confuse that by accident. So let's go back and see Barry's face. Oops, shit, sorry. Oh, God, I missed it. Look at this intensity that he has. Yeah. This shot alone blows Justice League's flash out of the motherfucking water. Yeah. This is the... That's flash. We yeah. are flash in this. And it really looks so clean. Yeah. Like, it looks so clean. I got... <laughs> Just like Barcy right now, I got chills. Mm -hmm. I am chilling right now. This I like is how we a call her beautiful Barcy. shot. <laughs> I what? hope she doesn't mind that. I hope she doesn't mind us calling her Barcy. <laughs> that's her um that's her Twitter. Oh, Barcy. is it? Okay, all right, yeah. okay. That's only that's the only reason I say it. Um so I literally got chills seeing this. This is insane. Yeah. Insane. And it looks so clear. Like that doesn't look like it's on a TV screen. No. That looks like it's happening right in fucking front of you. Yeah. Like literally right in front of you. The the HDR on these, I, I'm telling you right now, Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max, March 18th, is going to be the streaming event of a of a of a lifetime. Yes, it it's will. gonna be something that we've never seen before. Get ready, hold your asses, go to the bathroom, make some hot dogs. And let's go. Look at this. Running into the speed force. The, the ground literally like forming under his feet. It's all right now. It's all right now, baby. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. The ground. Holy goddamn. Oh, yeah. It's the same movie, huh? Yeah. It's the same movie, right? I don't remember this. I just, I hope they keep the Russian family. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Dostoevsky. Oh, yeah, it's the same movie. That's right. I forgot. I saw that in Justice League. You know, I definitely remember seeing that part. Not. That's, that's my flash right there, baby. Oh, yeah. actually, that's, that's, that's Barry Allen. Yeah. And I think Ezra, I think, I think people, I think they're not ready. I don't think they're ready no. to see Ezra. Ezra Miller. I think, I think people, I think they're not what ready. The hell? Oh, my, our video just came up on YouTube. So it was an echo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, where's that coming from? Yeah. It, it, it was the next thing to play. Um, that's cool though. After that trailer. Yeah. After, after that, whoever's channel that was after that. That means our video is going up right after that. There we go. There Look we at go. that. It's already making the rounds, baby. Uh, Folks, that, please share it. Please yeah. share it. We want you to. They can't share your it relatives yet. Relatives and your aunts or whatever, you know. But don't. Uh, yeah, please on our channel. Please don't mention any of the spoilers. Yeah. yeah if you do that, we're. You can refer to them and say the spoilers, but don't call them out by name. Um, that's like counterproductive, right? So. And not um, only that, like I know other channels are going to be discussing them. We will not be discussing them, even if you bring oh, them up. No, I, I don't, I don't mind. I don't pay any mind to that shit. Yeah. Like you know, you know how hard it was for me to be online before Endgame. It yeah. was so hard. Yeah. 
Same thing with uh, Infinity War. Um, I just avoided social media, and it was hard because, like, I would share stuff like um, like pictures and stuff, but I just did not go in the comment section. People were being jerks and purposely spoiling stuff in the comment section, like you know, under like, oh, you yeah. know, a new trailer for Infinity War, and someone just write Loki dies, you know, and like just write stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, people did stuff like that. So, um, oh, uh, could you imagine Jody's Corner doing a review right now of the two hours he saw? Right. Featuring um, Big Drip. That's where Drip is right now. He's with Jody just trashing the can film. You, can you hold on a second? Yeah, can sure. You talk, can you talk for a second? Yeah, I can talk. I, uh, I'm going to make Caden a... I thought Caden was a moderator already, no? Um, I have no idea. DC Talk's not here, so I need someone to oh, okay. I need someone to delete that um that spoiler that's in the comments. So just talk um, for a minute so I can get... I can log in and make him one. All right, okay. Um, which... Oh, you're talking about the one by Scott or whatever? Well, I just don't want it in there. It's oh, not yeah. that I don't like Scott. Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, and, and SEO, wherever you are, that's nothing against you. We just don't want people spoiling anything or whatever. Hey, Even it was the Martian spoiled. Manhunter one, right? Yeah, I got I got rid of it. I got rid All of right. it. All right. Yeah, it's not that, like, we can't. Well, we know he's going to be in there, but we, you know. Yeah, we, we know. but And it's not that we, we, I'm calling you out personally. Yeah, I know yeah. that you just. I know, I know that you were saying, "Hey, avoid this, avoid this." So you were doing the right thing, and you were saying, "Avoid this." Yeah. However, in turn, you know, it's just that's no worries, the way. Scott. That's yeah. just the way it is, baby. It's the way it is. In fact, I'm trying to. I made a post just now. Get it. If you guys can help get it <laughs> trending, report the leaks. Report the leaks. We're not going to play into Warner Brothers' hands or Toby Emmerich or. Probably Joss Whedon leaked it. He probably was like, oh, yeah. I forgot my hat in one of the studios. He found the movie. And for anyone that's showing up now, um, we already debuted the episode uh, of the of the film. I mean, of yeah. the documentary. But um, I'll put the tie back on just so you can see. I guess you know, <laughs> I, I'll just do it. To, I guess, I guess. Um, no, but you guys did miss it. Uh, you guys missed it, but it's at the beginning of the video. I uh, just for anyone that's showing up now, just remember that this is the opening episode. So it's not meant to be a, a page turner, like a, a riveting. Uh, it's not the whole thing. It's it's setting up. It's the a story. setup. Yes. Yeah. Imagine if, imagine if um, the first episode of Game of Thrones was all that you saw, right? <laughs> it's not a. That's not that's not fun. The best parts later on in the story. Uh, all right, so let's watch the dark side one now. All right, here we go. Oh, and, look, I'm bigger. Yeah, and to clarify, guys, uh, this was released officially. A lot of people were saying, oh, it's been leaked, the Dark Side one. It was really uh, – Ray Porter confirmed that it was put on uh, Twitch or something. So, And I do want to say something to you guys real quick before I do share this. Uh, to everyone that does, like, show up all the time, uh, to everyone that, that, like, supports us and continued supporting us, um, honestly, I actually owe it to you that we did get an invite yeah. to Zach's um, Zach's Justice League premiere. Uh, without you guys, like our show would be nothing. Without you guys, we wouldn't have had Marcel on. Without you guys, uh, the show wouldn't be where it is right now. And uh, we wouldn't be doing what we were doing. So leaks, all that shit aside, uh, from me to you, uh, as a creator of the show, uh, from me to you, I do want to express my deepest gratitude uh, to this community, to this fandom, to every single person that shows up all the time and, and inter interacts, engages. Um, I would definitely love more patrons. I'm not going to hold that against you yet. But another two weeks, I might hold it against you. Um, just kidding. But maybe. I don't know. Uh, but no, seriously. I, I This is, in all seriousness, like, I love you guys. Uh, I really do. Uh, my life seems just a little bit more complete. Um, when I get to engage and interact with y'all and, uh, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you for, for being a part of this. Thank you for being a part of the fandom and thank you for being a part of my life. All right. Now that we Ditto. can, now that we can, the, t the tissues can go away. Yeah. Let's, um, let's watch dark side right. Absolutely ravage. Coffee. Well, let's watch was, this. Weird I think news. this is all. I think this is all new footage. More oh, more I didn't see. I only saw one shot that I potentially saw before. Okay. Wait a second. Is there no audio on this? It's very low. 
I think that person just put it up with zero audio. Yeah. Yeah, the person has no audio on this video. Whoopsies. Yeah. Sorry. I'll find a different one. Again, HBO Max has not been posting these teasers on um, on uh, YouTube. Fans have been. So there we go. That sounds yeah much better. I just want to say this. Ray Porter, you absolutely murdered it yeah. as Dark Side so far. From what I've seen, from when when this when this came out at like 345, or at least when I when I saw it for the first time, mm -hmm. people were literally begging for more Ray Porter. Yeah. Like HBO Max. They want to see him come for his great prize. Yeah. Let's go. My worlds to dust. Looking for those who robbed me of my glory. I will stride across their bones. That part, this, that's that thing that we've already seen when she smashes her gauntlets. Look, oh. Deathstroke. And all of existence shall be mine. Fucking. Whoa! Whoa! I need, I need to be fixed after this. I have turned 100,000 worlds to dust. Barry with dust. a beard. Hold on, let's break that reel down. I I like, oh, let's get that. I have turned 100,000. So I've turned 100,000 planets to dust. I don't know what he says after that because it gets really low. Uh, do you know what he says? Uh, let it play. The worlds to dust. Glory. Looking for See, the something of my glory. Okay, because like it gets really, really low right there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. we did get a like, and this is what like threw me off because we got a hardcore look at not only Ben Affleck, mm -hmm. but the Flash in full. So there it is. There it was. The nightmare suit, the one that we've seen pictures of. The one, he's got a little bit of a facial hair too. I noticed that. Got a little bit of facial hair. Oh, he says, "I it's I will stride across the." Oh. No, he says something different. <coughs> and then we get we get Deathstroke with the mohawk. Uh, then we get Joker with the card, uh, and then we do get his laugh, which is yeah. different than the laugh we heard before. Yeah, it has like a tight like at at the end. There's a a little bit of a tang to it. Yeah, is what I call it, but. Um, whew, God, I'm like rock hard right now. We got Zeus. Uh, was that Zeus? I think that's Zeus. Yeah. We got Wonder Woman right there, smashing the gauntlets. Here we go. There's Leto in the scene that we've seen from uh, the original, well, the second original trailer. Someone is grabbing. Do you remember that in Justice League? Did no, that's not in Justice League at all. Steppenwolf didn't put his hand on. Uh, Superman's shoulder, right? No. Uh, not only that, in the entire Justice League sequence, when he fights Steppenwolf, um, his mouth is all CG. You can, it's completely redone. Looking uh, for those who robbed rob me, of, me my of my glory. glory. Okay, so oh he has a Lord. vendetta because he says later in the trailer, I watched your sister's burn or something like that because he was... I watched did, your island burn. Watch your island burn, um, meaning that he is probably he probably hates Earth specifically because the Amazonians, the Atlanteans and the tribes of men um, pushed him out and yeah. he is not happy. Yeah. And, and I can't, so uh, Ray Porter uh, and I spoke uh, yesterday and uh, he's going to come on the show uh, in the first week of April. Woo. Yeah. And we're going to, we're going to have a little party. How awful would it be if he picked April 1st and his, he pulled like, you know, he's like April fools. I'm not coming yeah. on your show. <laughs> Look, Look at uh, Steppenwolf getting murked here mm. by Superman or something. It's got it might teeth, be, though. it might be Superman. I don't know. Yeah. Then we get, then we get Aquaman. A little shot. See, yeah. that's different. Yeah, that's something I haven't seen before. Yeah, at least because look at his eyes. They look like yeah. very. Um, they look like they're all white. Like kind of yeah. like remember what the Undertaker used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. So. This must be when he's separating the mother boxes. Yeah. Um and, and, and like destroying the unity. Yeah. There's the 
Okay, this is what I'm asking questions on. What the fuck is going on right here? What is happening? Is that is that an explosion on Earth? Is that a, a planet? What is that? Maybe maybe when we get Darkseid sitting on the throne explaining that shit to us, maybe we do get to see one of the planets that he refers to turning into dust. Because that's what looks like it's happening. Yeah. I'm not sure, though. I am not sure. I'll be honest with you. This is one that I'm I'm kind of just letting it go and, and yeah. finding out later. What's up, Raja? Raja, um, King 23. That's what Raja yeah. means, King. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you know. Uh, but what is that? What do you think? You know, when we saw the Flash one, he runs towards something. And it looked kind of like that. I wonder if that's it looks similar. I wouldn't say it looked like it. It looks similar. I wonder in if color. that's the beginning of the um because we know that there's an explosion, right? Yeah. So we know there's an explosion. Uh, and that's kind of what Flash has to go back for, or at least test his abilities in the speed force yeah. for Zack Snyder Justice League. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. This doesn't look like a this look like look at the start the spherical object yeah. of it. It doesn't look like an explosion it, ra rather than maybe a planet that dark side is like when we get like a little bit of a, a let's call it a history lesson for dark side. It looks like we're getting yeah. an example of maybe a planet turning to dust. Okay. That's yeah, my maybe. guess. Yeah. That's my guess. Don't fucking shoot me if I'm wrong though. Shall be mine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that like, looks, yeah. Where it's do we go? Where do we yeah. go from here? If they don't green light Justice League 2 and 3, absolutely moronic. Yeah. Absolutely moronic. If that's I, even I, a word, I might have just made it up. Who knows? No, moronic is a word, but like moronic. it's just it, 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 it just continues to blow my mind that like they changed so much in 2017. It wasn't even like they actually finished Zach's movie. They're like, nope, we're going to do a whole different thing because people want soft, family friendly movies. So let's, uh, you know, let's yeah, John, do it that way. John agrees with me. That sure yeah. looks like the planet being destroyed. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe the, maybe, remember when Iron Man, like when Iron Man gets the planet pulled down on him? Yeah. That's what, that's, that was the, uh, that was the, yeah. the way they got that. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because this was way this was supposed to come out before Infinity War, but you know they're gonna people are gonna make the same comparisons. Like people oh, yeah. are already saying, oh, oh, this guy looks like he they ripped off Thanos. And it's like, dude, no. First of all, he, he was supposed to be in the movies before Thanos, and he was written as a character before Thanos, you know. Yeah. And uh guys, let us know in the comments what you're thinking uh, about everything. About everything. Yeah. Just lay it in, lay it in. Right? Uh, let us know what you're thinking about all the spoilers. Which one was your favorite teaser? Which one was your favorite moment from today's episode? And more. Just let us know. Just talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. But um, so far, so far, I am hyped. I am hyped too. And I'm also curious. You know, we're going to be doing this virtual premiere. I have no idea what that's going to be like. Yeah, I... Uh, so I have guess, a situation where they have the movie and it's like, you know, those reaction videos where everyone's on the sides talking. I'm like, no, did he, Marcel, did he send those yet? I don't know. Let me check. <clears throat> but um, I'm glad he's so uh, Marcel is sending us to the uh, premiere. Um, we uh, deep. I feel like we're going to do like a couple of reviews, like not one review is going to be enough because then we're going to forget something because it's a four hour movie. I mean, you think about how long it. Guys, think about the first time you saw Infinity War and you had to break down that movie with your friends. It did not take 20 minutes. You know, no. for a four hour movie now, you're, we're going to be at this for days and weeks. We're probably going to have to have a post Snyder Cut month just to like dissect, you know, everything. You know, we're still talking about BVS and all the stuff we didn't pick up in those movies. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I'll probably need. So, what do you think the time frame is? Where we could comfortably do a watch party for it, probably like a month, right? A month. I would say a month. Yeah, give it a month. Because um, there will be a period where word of mouth will spread. Because it's already a lot of hype. I think it'll break the internet. I think HBO Max might have 
crash servers. But then I think there'll be a period where people who are the word of mouth got to see Justice League, and everyone's like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And then they'll first they'll watch our documentary, then they'll watch the movie. That's the yeah. best way to do it, you know. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, uh, I'm at the dark side. You know, I'm surprised they're showing as much as they did because we know we heard his voice in um, the one teaser. And um, if you look at Superman's shoulder, he looks distraught. Yeah, I wonder if uh, there's a moment where Superman doubts, you know, because uh, once he's back in uh, Justice League, he's back. <clears throat> He gets a he gets a shot of uh, Christopher Reeve and he just comes back all, you know, smiles and everything. Yeah, all giddy. I believe in all truth. Right. I also believe in justice. In the American way. Yeah, they did no, get rid of that. I guess. I'm I'm curious. Uh, for all of our fans, we have a lot of international fans. Does it upset you when Superman <laughs> says truth, justice, and the American way? Because I know that they took it out of Superman Returns, uh, because they felt it was during the height of the Iraq War that you know. American way rub people the wrong way. Like I'm biased. I, I it never bothered me, but you know, yeah, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, Super, Superman's not an he's an American, but he protects the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, he he might be, you know, he might be American at heart, right? He was born here. He's from Kansas. I'm and as American from, as apple pie. Yeah, so, but 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 he's everybody's Superman. He's the world's yeah. Superman. So I agree. I wouldn't necessarily like. That line is very old, yeah, in its yeah. nature, right? Yeah. So let's uh let's watch the Superman one. All right. Let's just watch them all again. Yeah, sure. Why not? Not a, not them all again, but let's yeah. watch the Superman and Batman one. Then we can yeah. uh we can kind of wrap it up here. All right. Yeah, Superman one was good too. Oh hell yeah! You should get a ad block on Chrome. Mm -hmm. The free. No. Version. Oh, okay. The whole world is mourning, grieving over a symbol. Let's hope you're not too late. It's like they were afraid of him. Fly, son. It's time. I made a promise on his grave. His world will join me. What do we have to lose? No us without him. We do this together. Get down! You will help them. That was Ray Fisher saying want. get down? No, I don't know. I love how this is a reverse of the shot from Man of Steel where the doors open and he's walking out back his first. back towards us. Yeah. Who yells, get down? Him uh, flying out of the the, draw, the the ship? Yeah. I loved it. Hold on. So we do get a couple of awesome shots in here. Let's hope you're not too late. It's like they were afraid of him. So this shot right there. Oh, let me pause it. I made a promise on his... Great. All right, so see here. Can you guys see my mouse? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Did it? Oh, look at that! It got big. Ha! <laughs> All right, so here we get the normal, uh, the normal Superman costume. Yeah. Here we get uh, an outfit similar to the one that uh, Russell Crowe's uh, Jor El wore yeah. uh, in the fight against Zod. Yeah. Here's the exploration suit mm -hmm. in the back, the one that they when they kind of explore other places that kind of like what we saw in Man of Steel. Yeah. This one is the one I want to point to. Um Liz Wonder brought it up in our episode. Uh it looks like Feora's outfit. But yeah. it's got the blue uh and it's got obviously got the House of L symbol. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So could this be a Supergirl outfit? Maybe. Could this be what Supergirl this Where? is the same ship with the uh, with the open pod because Zod flew that from wherever it was in Antarctica and crashed it into Metropolis. So, exactly. um, so a lot of people have been saying, well, if this shape is, ship is thousands of years old, why is the technology the same? Well, you have to remember that you can it's possible for civilization, hypothetically speaking, to peak. Like they've reached as far as they can get technologically, and the Kryptonians might have reached that peak thousands of years ago. That's why their ship and technology doesn't seem too different from the newer ships that Zod had. Um, Beverly Mass? Uh, Scott, Scott, don't worry about it. Beverly Mass? Are you in Massachusetts? Or maybe he's in Beverly Hills. That's no, where he Be wants Beverly's to be. a town in Massachusetts. Living in That's actually like pretty close to where I am too. I'm in Somerville, so it's it's somewhat close. 
I'll give you Ty's address, Scott. Please don't. Do this together. Get down! So that is Ray Fisher that says get down. Yeah. So I wonder who he's saying it to. Accomplish wonders. Then we hear um, the, uh, the, the line in uh, Man of Steel where he says, you can accomplish wonders. And we get first flight part motherfucking two. Well, I mean, it's I'm, I'm assuming it lines up with these these shots, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I need to find out why. Right here, baby. Woo! Let's go. Superman one, pretty good. If I'm gonna rank them, if I'm gonna rank them, actually, let me know in the comments what your ranking is. Uh, see you later, uh, Jack Pierre. Uh, we'll see you next oh, time, yeah. baby boy. Let me know in the comments what your rankings for the, the teasers that we've got so far are. Um, mine goes as follows. Number one, Dark Side. Number two, The Flash. Number three, Batman. Number four, Superman. Number five, I don't know. Wonder Woman. Wonder Superman. Woman over Aquaman. Aquaman. Aquaman's obviously last. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Um, yeah. It's no offense to Aquaman. You see the red cape? Where? Where? Where did I see a red cape? I think he's talking about the blue suit that Superman walks by. Yeah, the one that you pointed out, I think. Yeah. This one, right? Well, no. Oh, right back there. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Go back, Ty. Look at the female suit. That's a red cape right there. Let's hope you're not too late. Yeah. Fly something. It's time. I made a promise on his grave. His Lord will join me. What do we have to lose? No us without him. We do this together. Get down! Oh, God. We'll help them accomplish wonders. This, and I, I love the charcoal cape. They wanted oh, yeah. me back for a reason. So, okay. You catch him? Did anyone catch this? They wanted so me look back at him. Look, ready? He looks at his arm real quick. Yeah. I need to find out why. What did he already do it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did it. I know you're talking about, yeah. See him looking at himself? Yeah. It's because the black suit is helping him drink the radiation again. Yeah. So he's like, you know what I mean? Obviously, Superman's not like, hey, check out this black suit. Wow, it looks dope on me. Like, he's not like checking himself out. He's literally like starting to feel better and he can feel it working. Yeah. So, um, they I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. It's almost like he's trying it out, like he's you know, like he's got to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because look, look, like when he's like originally walking, right? You can tell he's like he he's he's flustered. He's still like disoriented. Uh, but then here it opens, and he's he look. He's looking at himself. He's like, yeah. okay, I can feel my powers basically coming back, yeah. right? And then we you see, um, and then we see him getting ready, and he's like, all right, they're back. I need to find I'm out good. Why. Yep. All right. Let's motherfucking go! And he goes. And can I just hit a nitpick that's going to come that people are stupid? They're going to be like, well, how's he absorbing radiation if it's nighttime? We are still being bombarded with the sun's radiation even at night, folks. So just yeah. in case you know those moments are coming. Like, well, if it's nighttime, how can he feel the radiation? Yeah. You know. yeah. Because, like, oh, God. To, uh, oh, there's Wanda. the ambassador. Oh, God. Oh. Let's get that out of there. Uh, I don't want any copyrights from the ambassador over on the yeah. channel. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so I, Jack, what was your thoughts of today? Good day. Uh, yeah, a very good day. Um, I know we're biased, but I really liked the work you did for the editing and stuff. Um, well, I knew you always do a good job with editing, but it was, it was still nice to, you know, like you said the other day when you were watching it, you, if you felt like it wasn't yours, like you're watching actually something else and yeah. that's, that's the feeling I got. Like it was crazy to think that, Oh, my dumbass wrote this. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was just actually nice to hear someone else say it. And I, I said to Margie, I said, you make it sound better than I make me sound better a uh, writer than I actually am. But you know, she's, yeah. she's, um, she's got a very straight voice. I like, I told her to do it just, just declaratively, just, just say it. And then, um, you know, chapter three is where you kind of add a little bit of nuance in the voice. Cause you know, I can't wait for people to see it, you know. <laughs> oh, um, James Collins, that's not the same suit that he had on when he died. No, he's literally talking about his actual chest. Oh, I guess he just regenerated. 
He's like, you know, like the actual, because if the oh, hole was in his, his suit, chest, yeah. there was literally a hole in his chest. But uh, listen, well, I, again, guys, rising, we're, we're, we are he, dealing with a Superman, mm. Batman, and some other fictional character movie. We yeah. do have to learn to suspend a little bit of belief. But yes, he's re. This that's why they don't show us his full body uh, yeah. before they put him into the water. I, it's a little bit graphic, I'm assuming, yeah. um, and that would cause. I mean, maybe they will. It's rated R this time. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They're going to show like a hole in his chest, but imagine that the mother box awakens him. His regenerative abilities kick in just like that. Cause a chest wound normally wouldn't, you know, you know, Pearson oh, would probably yeah. like kind of like in a Wolverine way, maybe even faster. I mean, we don't, we don't know how powerful the remember the mother box can terraform a planet. Imagine what it would do to his body. It'd probably mm -hmm. heal that hole like that, like in a split second. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree completely guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Uh, everything I've said to date, you know, it's true. I love each and every one of you guys. We are, um, pre you know, we're doing more things and we need more support from the patrons. Yeah. Um, like if, if you, it's only $5 a month uh, to help sh uh, show, show your support for the show. Yeah. Uh, we really do appreciate it. It helps us be able to all go to Texas to see the museum and do show from there. It helps us to do all these other things that we want to do, yeah. pay for voice actors for documentaries that we're going to do in the future. Uh, and it does all that kind of stuff. Uh, HD streams, right? Yeah. Uh, they're, I don't, I mean, they're expensive as hell. HD streams, super expensive. Yeah. It's 50 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month for, for stream yard to be HD, full HD. Um, so if you'd like, if you want those things to continue and you want the show to keep being able to get guests, uh, right? Because if I, you know, the, the production value of the show is down, guests don't want to come on. Uh, that's why we've been increasing everything, more of a structure. We've been doing a lot um, and, and we would definitely love to get more patrons. And it's not like you just pay and then that's it, right? We're giving you content, behind the scenes looks, early access to podcasts. I'll send you a gift every year from our store You'll get 15% off our store uh, for all orders, all year round, anytime. Uh, you, there's a lot of benefits to doing it. Uh, and once we reach that certain mark, you'll integrate with YouTube and you'll get like a little badge. It's going to be cool. So and, you know, and we'd like to maybe level. do more, more documentaries in the future. Yeah. Get it on the ground level. Yeah. Uh, guys, we love you so much. Thank you for being a part of our lives. And thank you. Um, we'll, be, we'll be back tomorrow with episode two. And uh ty's corner will be taking the day off tomorrow uh but justice uh he's going to be doing his first live stream for drips corner tune into that we'll be all be back wednesday for quick dip and then guess what then we start rolling baby we yeah. start rolling don't forget brandon spink and allison crow will be joining the pop culture corner brandon spink plays young bruce wayne allison crow does the hallelujah cover for zach snyder justice league and she sang in at Autumn's funeral. Uh, she'll be here. They'll both be here. On and she was in Man of Steel. The seventh. She is in Man of Steel. Uh, guys, we do it for you. And we do it for the culture.